Oh, hello. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I got carried away. I was just like, are these not the cutest little things you ever saw? These are tiny bows. That's cute. I'm, I'm sorry. I know you're in a hurry. I know everybody's in a hurry today. Let me, um, what, what do you have to be wrapped? You got everything in a, oh God, no. See, I, I hate to be a, a pest, but you're going to have to take that down to Miss Bernice down there. She wraps the big weird stuff. Not that your presents are weird. They're, they're really cool and cute, but I, I only do small things over here because they don't give me much room to work with. Yeah, well, I don't think that's called for. I know there's a line over there, but I, unfortunately, I do not have the space to wrap that thing that looks like a tree house or something. I can't, I'm sorry. It's just for little things. There's supposed to be, at the end of my line down there, there's supposed to be a note about that, that I just do small things here. Did you not see that? Oh, you thought I'd make an exception for you. No, that actually applies to everybody, even you. I'm really sorry, but I cannot wrap that here. See, Bernice has the oversized paper down there, the giant spool of paper. I don't have that. See, mostly all I have are just these little remnants. These are from the gift shop. Um, well, the mall didn't want to spring for expensive stuff, so we just got remnant rolls of wrapping paper, and there's not a lot on them. So unless you want it wrapped like a patchwork quilt with about five different rolls, I cannot do that. I'm really sorry. Well, Merry Christmas anyway. Yes. That's the old bat. Ho, 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 indeed. Hey, Brett. I didn't even know you were coming in here today. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, you are so sweet. I, I, I know. I know. That's what I was just saying to her the other day. You are the sweetest thing. What, what, what have you got? Put it up on the conveyor belt. They insist we use the conveyor belt. I'm sorry. So you've been doing a little secret shopping today? Oh my gosh. Oh, Symphony's going to be so tickled. This is for her, right? Okay. So anything you got for me in there? Nothing. I don't forget you said that. Let me see. Bring it on around. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, it's got a satin line and oh my. Can I try it on? I was going to try it on anyway. Oh, that's beautiful. That's not real fur. No, I didn't think it was, but that's beautiful. Oh my God, she's going to love it. Where did you get this? The It doesn't say. Really? Well, I'm going to get me one of these. How many? Do they have any left? Do they have them in any other colors? Well, I like the pink. That's gorgeous. I love it. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You know, I, I didn't plan on wearing this. It's not really Christmassy. It, it don't even match, but <sighs> Boo Boo messed up my shirt this morning. That's Rhonda's baby. My cow. What would... We named her Boo Boo because she goes around the backyard leaving little Boo Boos all over the ground. You got to kind of watch where you're stepping. It's like a, like a cow patty minefield back there. The only difference is hers are smaller, but I swear they're more concentrated. Well, I had got some, I had got a little bit of wine, wine spritzer on my sweater and I, I had to spot clean it because you know it has all those decorative items on it and the lights and you can't wash it. So I, I spot cleaned it with a little bit of uh, baking soda, not baking soda, club soda and water and I laid it out on the, on the back porch railing back, you know, back there. Uh, we stained, yeah, we stained all that last year. Laid it over the the railing didn't think anything about it well boo boo's walking around in the backyard and apparently she wanted a snack and she ate she ate the sleeves right off of my christmas sweater my favorite christmas sweater she had yarn dangling out of her mouth like a piece of spaghetti when i saw her so i, I was going to wear that today because i thought that'd be a little more festive um but i was running late i wanted to hurry up and get up here this is so pretty and um it's like petting a cat. And uh, so Boo Boo messed up my sweater. Now it's like a tank top. 
and I couldn't wear it because it's cold. So um, I, I, I just remembered something that a, that a client of mine told me one time. She said, when all else fails, just sparkle them into confusion. So I've got on, I've got all my sparkly stuff all over me just like she taught me. I learn things from my clients sometimes. Sometimes I'm the student, sometimes I'm the teacher. And she told me that you just sparkle them into confusion and everything always works out. So, well, you know, it's senior day here at the mall, and uh, I thought maybe I'd get a little extra tip or two if I dressed a little festive, you know. So far, it hadn't worked out. All I got was a free McDonald's coupon for some fries from this very nice old man. And one woman said I needed to quit dyeing my hair, so that was her tip. Other than that, I haven't got anything beyond my $8 an hour. Now, let me see. I do not have a box, unfortunately. Um, all my boxes, except I've got one little one left, but I don't think it's big enough for this. Um, would you be all right with me just either sticking it in a gift bag or just wrapping it as it is? And I only have one gift bag left, but I think Symphony would appreciate it, especially if she knew I was the one that wrapped it. And if she don't want it, I'm saving it for Aunt Berlin. Tis the season to be tacky. <laughs> you don't think that'd offend her, do you? But I don't believe it would. <laughs> you don't want to use... Okay, we don't have to use the gift bag. That's fine. We'll just wrap it. Now, the th okay, the thing is, with, with the mall management, all they gave me were remnants of wrapping paper. I'll show you what we have to choose from. Now, this, this one comes to mind immediately out of my remnant rolls to think of Symphony. Now, what do you think of this? Now, this is beautiful, full, and it has little blue and white snowflakes on it. I think she would really like that. And I do believe there's enough here to where we could uh, do it. Perhaps. Okay, well, I have another one. This one is nice. Now see here, it's, it's got fa la la and peace and ho ho ho. I don't mean anything by that. Merry Christmas, cheer. You like this one better? Okay, well we'll go with that one then. So how you been? I haven't seen you, I haven't seen you in several weeks, I reckon. You doing all right. Oh, I'm fine. I've been busy, though. I've been so busy. Well, you know, Amberlynn was in the Miss Merry Christmas pageant. She got first runner-up this year. I was so proud, and she got to be in the Nathanville Parade yesterday. Did you go? I didn't see y'all. Not well. It was cold. I'm going to tell you now. And, and you know they could throw out candy again. They banned it for several years, and everybody in Camden just pitched a fit over it pitched a royal fit and so they they kind of had to start allowing it again because people just raised such a ruckus and I, I came home but it was so cold it was so cold by the time the parade was half over it's like I couldn't bend my fingers to pick up the candy off the ground anymore <laughs> I tried catching it in midair and then I got a butterscotch in my left eye and I, I decided that might not be a good idea They did go all out this year on the on the signage here at the gift wrapping stations, didn't they? Hey, it's better than last year. Let me tell you. Last year, we didn't have any signs. Um, there was there was one big sign up by the main entrance up there. No, the entr the entrance near the bowling alley. There was one sign, and um, so a lot of people, a lot of the elderly people on senior day got confused, and they ended up going into the bathroom for some reason. It might have been because they had some more signs around where the bathrooms are, and some people were going in the bathrooms, and it caused some embarrassing situations, I'll tell you. So this year... Mr. Thompson decided it might be a good idea to put up some more signs. 
But unfortunately, his idea of more signs is just a sheet of paper with some stuff wrote on it like a drunk person did it. Oh, trust me, he's not going to he's not going to spend any money he doesn't have to here. What no, I, see but my my attitude about it is there is no shame in work. No, I wasn't saying you were saying that. Um well, you know Trisha's shop got shut down. They tore the building down and we had nowhere to go. We're still working on it. We're trying to find a good place to to relocate. But so far, we've had no luck. There's just nothing good. There's just nothing good available in this area. We looked into that. We thought about getting a place here at the mall. But they've already got two hair places at the mall. And it's it would be too saturated, you know. They said they don't want three hair salons in the mall, and I, I do agree that it would be a bit much. What's Meemaw doing here? That's my Meemaw. She don't see me. She's looking in the bed, bath, and beyond over there. My Meemaw's here. She, no, I'm wondering because she don't drive. I'm just wondering how she got here. I know she didn't walk the senior homes too far away. Who brought Meemaw to the mall? And why is she by herself? Lord. I'm going to have to call Bobby. I don't know. Hang on a minute. Bobby. Hey, it's me. You know Meemaw's at the mall. How do I know? How do you think I know? I'm at the mall. I'm wrapping presents. She's over here by Bed Bath & Beyond. Where are you? You're at the gas station. Why are you? Which gas station? What'd you leave her here for? You need to get back over here. No, I cannot watch her. I'm working right now. I'm supposed to be wrapping presents. We'll get... Forget about the dry cleaner. You need to get back over here. Okay, bye. He dropped her off and just lit. Where'd she go? She's gone. She took off like a tiny rocket. How can anybody with a walker move that fast? I don't know where she went. She's gone. Well, he's going to have to hunt her down himself. I can't do it. No, don't worry about it. No, you're... I don't imagine she'll get too far. He's at the gas station up the street. He said he'd come right back. He said he had errands to run and thought she'd be okay. Well, she has good days and she has bad days. There. Maybe it's a good day. I don't know. My bad. I'm like a rapping wizard, am I not? I'm a rap god. Every time I say that, Brittany rolls her eyes. I don't care. How about that? Okay. Now, let's pick out a boat. Now, these are your more conventional bows, and I'm about out. All I have left are green and gold in this side. Oh, I have one red one. So, you have this little kind right here. Now, they're not very big, but they're very shiny. Kind of like Symphony. Or, we have gold. We could do one of each, or we could do some red in there like that. Why, that's my last red bow. Or if you don't like bows, I have, I have this insanely old bag of bows. They came from my neighbor's house. She passed away, and they were giving away stuff out of her basement. And they, these were in the basement. These are probably from like 1987, but I imagine they still work. We have a really pretty striped bow. It's gold and white. I like that one. <laughs> so dusty. Or we have this, like a gold holographic. How about that? Oh, this one is white with like a silver trim. 
Which one do I think? I don't like these for this package. I'm thinking we do a red and a green side by side. Okay. No, don't worry. You don't need to go hunt her down. Don't worry about it. There's so many people in here right now. Because, see, you have the mall walkers that are in here every day. And a lot of them just come over to talk. Like, they don't even want a present wrap. They just come up here because they want to talk. It's kind of makes me sad, you know. It makes me makes my heart hurt to think of all these people out there. There's so many elderly people that just don't, they don't really have anybody. I'm just glad they have each other. I mean, I thought wrapping presents would get me more in the mood for Christmas, but if anything, it's just made me more sad and grumpy. Because I look at these, I look at these mall walkers, I think that could be me one day. Then we'll put a tag on here for you. Now, we don't fill these out. I just stick it on there, and then it's up to you to complete the tag. We are not allowed to do it. Um, so we have this little adhesive gift tags in a tin. These are full tags, and they are self-adhesive. Now, let's see what choices we have here. Okay. We have Happy Holidays down here, the little houses. Or we have the ornaments, and it says, Deck the Halls. We have some of those. And then we have one with the little reindeer, and it says, Merry Christmas to and from, or peace. And a little cardinal. This one's missing. Oh, it's holly. See, it's got a little holly on it. You really don't care, do you? You don't give two craps. You want me to just pick one. Okay. What was Symphony like? Let me see. This one right here. This Merry Christmas one with the gold garland and the trees. She'd like that one. Okay. She's Oh, she's going to love it. I'm going to go over there and, and take a look at them myself. Now, if you don't mind me asking, how much was it again? Was it on sale or anything? I'm going to have to go look. I've got some, um, I have a card. And I think I've got some loyalty points. I might be able to get a little discount on that. See, I buy myself a Christmas present every year. That may have to be my present to myself this year. Oh, we're doing fine money-wise. We are. Um, you know, Jimmy's picked up some extra hours at work. and You know, we do what we can, just like, just like everybody does. Yeah. So here's, this is your first one. I see you got one, one more. Th Let me see. Let me see that here. This is something good, isn't it? Ashley Princess. Let me guess. It's bracelets. It's, it's not? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Is that real gold? Wow. Your work must be, you must be doing real well. That is, that is beautiful. That is just the most beautiful thing. And it's going to look so good with that, that stole. Oh, my goodness. You done ain't shopping for me yet. Because you, you pick great presents. Just fabulous. Now, for a present like that, you definitely have to go with this paper right here. The blue. Yeah. Oh, hey, Aunt Berlene. Yes, I'll, I'll get to you next. Just You just st stand there. Okay. What are you doing? Pilates in place. Okay. Mine her smite, Burling. Oh, you haven't met her? Don't worry about doing it now. Don't. What about, so you okay with this paper? Okay. It's, oh, this, this is such a beautiful watch. Can I look at it again? I wish I could be there when she opens this. Oh my gosh, are y'all coming over Christmas? Well, I hope you can. We're doing a lunch. You don't have to be there at any certain time. We may start around 1 or 2, but if y'all don't get there till later, it's fine. It's just kind of a floating thing. People come in and out. 
that's just the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. I just, I love that. Where did you get this? Hmm. I can't afford to even go in that place. Mm. Well, I, I truly am glad y'all are doing well. You don't need to be... You don't need to... What are you apologizing for? Look, it's not like that. Brett, it's not like that. See, just because... I, I wouldn't even say we're struggling, but just because we're not doing as well as we have other Christmases does not mean you need to feel bad about doing well. It doesn't work that way. Uh-uh. Boy, that, that paper's big. Well, they give me these remnants from the gift shop. And they're hard to work with. They're the ends of the rolls. The paper's super curly. It's very annoying. I wrapped a present for this one lady earlier today. She was one of the first people. And you know how you deal with somebody early on in your shift, and it's it's like they, they just set the tone for the rest of the day when they're especially cranky. She didn't like any of my wrapping paper because she said it was too curly on the roll. And I'm going... That doesn't even make sense. She did not want me to use it because she said it was too curly. I know. She rolled my eyes too. I said, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. I didn't say it to her, but I kind of, in my mind, I said it to her, but of course, out loud, I can't say it. I told her if she didn't like it, she could go over there and wait in Miss Bernice's line, and Miss Bernice could do it. And uh, she said she didn't have time to wait. She said people like her don't wait. She said, I don't wait. That's something I don't do. I'm like, well, la dee da You came to the wrong place then. I mean, it's Christmas time. If you go shopping, you're probably going to have to wait somewhere for something. Nobody's that special to go in a store. She said, I don't do that. I said, well, you're going to today. Surprise. Some people just go shopping and they expect to be treated like royalty. And I just don't know how I feel about it. It's, no ma'am, it's not going to be much longer. I'm, I'm wrapping as fast as I can. I'm not talking about you, Aunt Merlene. <laughs> she stopped by here earlier. Mama told her I was going to be rapping at the mall. She came in here expecting to see something very different. <laughs> you should have seen the confused look on her face. It was priceless. Okay. How's that? I can... I, I wish I could be there to see her face. You wouldn't consider saving this till y'all get to my house. Maybe hiding it somewhere and then so she can open it when I can see it. That would be so cute. No, I understand, I understand. And now, oh, at the perfect bow. You need to put one of these little cute bows on here. Like, ooh, one of the blue ones like this one right here. It would match the blue on the little snowflakes on the paper. I think it's the perfect idea. So yeah, we were in the parade. Well, she was in the parade. My little girl. Jimmy was driving her. We had to borrow. We had to borrow somebody's convertible for her to ride in. Half the parade was Miss Merry Christmas contestants. Of course, they have the winner in the front, and then they have like first runner-up, second runner-up, and then all, they've started allowing all the contestants to be in the parade, which I think is a bit much. 
I think if you didn't get at least second runner up, I think you need to just be out on the sides waving at the parade. I don't think you should get to be in it. How's that? That's the cutest little thing. And another tag. Ooh, let's see. What have we got here? Let's see. Oh, this one, this one, this one. Look at this. Mm -hmm. To and from, and it has little snowflakes on it. I am so excited. I'm, oh, I am so excited for both of y'all. That is the coolest little present. That and that stole. I'm so jealous. I'm still ill about last year. No, I have not forgotten. About, would you forget? If somebody did that to you at Christmas, how quickly would you forget? I'm not going to let Jimmy forget it either. How's that? It's perfect. Well, I still don't know where he got that from. Okay, so we get over we get over to Jimmy's parents' house, and you know how they do a thing over there the day after Christmas. Well, for whatever reason, they do this thing with joke gift boxes. I'm coming, Arlene. Ain't Berlene. You just hang in there. I did not call you by your twin sister's name. You're hearing things. They. His parents like to take presents and put them in little joke boxes. Like they'll take an empty box of crackers or whatever, you know. They just take, or one year they put my present in this box that used to have like roach bombs or something in it, like roach spray. And they, they put it in that box. And what you're supposed to do, it took me a year to catch on. You're supposed to take the wrapping paper off and look at the box and act all upset like... How could you give me roach spray for Christmas? And that's the response you're supposed to give. It's really stupid. I don't know why they do it. Well, I didn't know that the first year. So I opened it and it was like roach spray. And I just kind of went, oh, roach spray. Ooh. And they're all laughing at me like, uh -huh, you idiot. You didn't know. And I'm going. And so then they're saying the present is inside the box. You're supposed to open the box. I had no idea. I had no way of knowing that. I thought they had literally given me roach spray. So anyway, we've been through many years of these Christmases, and that's the response you were always supposed to give. Well, last year, see, this is part of what made it so awkward. Last year, let me get that there. So we get over there last year, and we got over there late, and because uh, Jimmy had some of his leg cramps, and he couldn't get his boots on. And we got over there late, and the whole family was there, and everybody had already opened their present. And then I ended up being the last person, so everybody in the house is watching me open it. And it was this huge, gigantic box, and it was sitting on the floor, and I had no idea what it could be. I thought, what is in that huge box? It, I mean, it was about three feet tall, and it was just big. So I went to rip the paper off, and it said it was it was a vacuum cleaner box. It had Dust Devil vacuum cleaner, blah blah blah. So I gave the response that I had always given: "How could you buy me a vacuum cleaner? Oh my God!" And I happened to look up over at his mother, and she had this totally horrified look on her face. And I realized, and this all happened in a matter of seconds, but I realized. Oh my God, it is a vacuum cleaner. For the first time in 20 odd years, it's not a joke. She gave me a vacuum cleaner for Christmas. So I had to go, oh, oh a vacuum cleaner. Because everybody's looking at me just horrified like, how could you respond to their present this way? They expect me to read their mind. I will never understand his family. I will never understand these people. So Jimmy had told them for what reason, I do not know. Told them that I wanted a vacuum cleaner for Christmas. Now, never in any universe or plane of existence did I ever say I wanted a vacuum cleaner for Christmas. Nowhere ever did I say that or even imply that. So I was really embarrassed. I felt bad because his mother knew that that was really how I felt about getting a vacuum cleaner for Christmas. Because she came up to me later when, when everybody was kind of elsewhere. And she goes, Lynette, I am so sorry. Jimmy said you wanted a vacuum cleaner for Christmas. And I thought that was kind of weird too. But he insisted that that's what you said you wanted. 
and I, I, I just kind of was like, oh, no, no, that's great. It's wonderful. You know, we needed another vacuum cleaner. The one up, that we use upstairs had died, and I don't like having to tote one up downstairs. And uh, I'm getting to the end of my story, Verlene. You just, just keep bending yourself backwards there. Don't knock anybody over. So, we, well, no, I did ask him about it. We got back out to the truck when we were headed home before the kids got in the truck. He got in, I got in, and I looked at him, and I said, what were you thinking? Why in the world would you tell your mama that I wanted a vacuum cleaner for Christmas? And he said, but you said you wanted one. I said, no, uh uh-uh, because I had been thinking about it the whole time we were over there. The only thing I said was when the one we used up there died, I said, we need to get another vacuum cleaner up here. We need to get another one so we don't have to keep taking one up and down the steps all the time to vacuum. I don't recall ever going, oh, I hope Santa brings me a vacuum cleaner for Christmas. I said, here's some advice for your next wife, because you may end up with another one. I'm just kidding. Like, for your next wife, don't buy her a vacuum cleaner or anything like a vacuum cleaner for Christmas. Even if she asks for one, this is good advice for any anybody. Do not buy someone cleaning implements for a gift unless... I mean, I can't even think of any circumstances. If they say they want it, get it. But don't give it to them as a present. Just get it and bring it home and be done with it. Don't wrap it up, put a bow on it, and put it under the tree. That's just... It's unspeakable. It's unspeakable. And it's a year later, and no, I have not gotten over it yet. And every time I turn on that vacuum cleaner and use it, I think about that. I'm just tore out of frame. Look... Don't, don't let me bring you down. Now, I know I won't get a vacuum cleaner this year. Hopefully, I'll get something better. Because <laughs> I put so much thought. That's what bugs me. I put so much thought and care into presents that I get for everyone, including Jimmy and his family and the kids and everybody. And that's what just hurt my feelings. Was like, you couldn't think of anything better to tell them that I, something that I would like than a vacuum cleaner. What what is what do you, what do you really think of me? You know, but anyway, I no, I'm sure it's gonna be better this year. But um, no, I'm gonna see y'all again before Christmas. Okay, push the button on the conveyor and it will move it backwards, and then it it drops down in the holly jolly box right there. It's full of cotton balls. It won't break or anything. That they insist that we use this holly jolly conveyor belt. Yeah, there's there's a stuffed Santa right on the side. You have to be careful reaching in that box or you'll knock him over. And if you do, he laughs like a a serial killer. I don't know why. It's something that Mr. Thompson picked up at Big Lots. I don't like it. Okay. Well, yeah. Now, there shouldn't be anything else in there. Okay. Well, Brett, Merry Christmas. I'm going to see y'all again before then. Okay? But you tell Symphony, I said, hey, and we got plans to go out to eat Tuesday night. I think it's Tuesday night. We're going out. We're going to the steakhouse. Are you... I hope you can come. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Ain't Verlaine. Yes, I I know that took a long time. I'm very sorry. Yes, he is a friend of mine. Mm hmm. Yeah. So what you what have you got there? You just put it put it on the conveyor. That's really? Multiplication cards. That's it. You want me to wrap this for who? Amber Lynn. You got these for my daughter? Well, yeah, she, she's a little beyond this. I mean, no, she's in the fifth grade. They, they were doing multiplication tables back in the third grade. I'm not being ungrateful, Aunt Berlin. No, no, she'll love it. She will love it. Oh, don't tell her. Oh, don't worry. I don't want her to spoil this surprise. No, I would never do that. And I certainly don't want to take credit for your present. I certainly won't tell her it was my idea. Now, let me show you the paper I have to pick from. Just a minute. Now, I think this one would be nice. It is it recycled? I don't know. Um... It doesn't really say. 
and it's a remnant. I mean, I guess in a way it's kind of recycled because these are rolls from the gift shop. It's kind of like the end of the roll, and, and they just throw them away normally, but Mr. Thompson asked them to send them to me. So it's kind of recycled. I mean, it would have gone in the trash otherwise. Well, I don't know why they don't recycle their stuff. Is it locally sourced? Probably not. I don't even know what that means, but probably it sounds like a fancy term that would not apply here. Um, it probably came from China, if you want to know the truth about it. So if you were in China, you could say it was. You don't like this paper, do you? It has bad chi. That's not a smell, is it? Well, what about this one? This one's very unassuming. It almost looks like burlap. That's kind of that's kind of uh, crunchy, isn't it? I mean that in a nice way. What well, it doesn't say if it's organic. I don't. Amberlene, look. Why is it that every interaction we have has to go this way? Can you can you just kind of climb down out of that tree for one day and just let me wrap these multiplication cards for my daughter? What what about Brittany? Did you do you have anything for her? She's too old for Christmas presents. That's gonna go over real well. She's seventeen, but why do you Christmas presents are only for kids? Hey, I have no comment. I'm going to wrap this for you because it is a complimentary service of Camden Mall. And that's all I have to say about that. Did I do what? I haven't done anything to my eyebrows. How about, how about this? How about you just stand there and stare off at something while I do this? Yes, we are still doing the lunch on Christmas Day. Of course you're invited. You could come and meet some of our friends. And Mama's going to come. Daddy's going to be there. Yeah, I did see her. Bobby dropped her off. He's coming back. He's probably already back. He went up to the gas station. But he was going to come back and keep an eye on her. Yes, I know she's here. She was. She just walked by not too long ago. Well, you can go hunt her down if you want to. I'm kind of stuck back here. I'm working till 5, so I can't exactly go track her down. And, and if I were to track her down, what would I do with her after that? I could set her on the conveyor belt and let her play with it or something. Let her go back and forth on it. It'd be about all I could do with her. I don't think I would call myself a workaholic, Angerlene. I think I would call myself somebody who likes to have money to, you know, put food on the table and pay the power bill. That's, you know, I, I don't just do this for fun. I don't think I'm being sassy, Angerlene. I think sometimes when you look at me, you see a 12-year-old kid and you don't think I have the right to speak up for myself. And for most of my life with you, I have not. That's true. But don't let this Santa hat fool you. I am a fierce individual. And if I have to take care of my family by wrapping presents at the mall, then that's what I will do. I would think you'd support it. Because I'm doing my part. Now here it is. Here are your little multiplication cards for my daughter who learned multiplication tables two years ago. She will be very happy, no doubt. Now, I'm gonna pick out a, no, I'm picking out a bow. It, are, they, are they recyclable? Absolutely not. 
these no you know what's gonna happen by me putting that bow on here it's gonna cause the whole world to blow up and you are not gonna say a thing about it I'm gonna put this nasty bow on here on this unrecyclable non locally sourced paper and you are not going to say a word to me because I have spent 40 years of my life listening to your judgmental talks and I have had it. There's no need to put a tag on it because we will all know who it's from. So take your little present and sashay off that way. Merry Christmas to you. ma'am yes I'm sorry can I help you yeah put it on the put it on the holly jolly conveyor belt over there they don't like for us to touch because of germs it was mr. Thompson's idea just put it over there and I'll grab it oh nice O'Keefe's skin care you know my, my daddy loves this stuff he does who'd you get it for Oh yeah, I think this is a great choice. Now let me show you let me show you the paper. Do you want something kind of flashy or no? How about this paper? Now this is kind of nice, but it's not too crazy. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Well we will go with that. So have you ever, have you found everything in here that you needed today? There I know we have so many stores it's <laughs> it's hard not to find everything. Bobby's my brother. Yeah, uh-huh, I'm his sister. Yep. Only one he's got. We, yep, yeah, we both went to Camden High. We sure did. I know her. She was my English teacher in ninth grade. Well, how about that? It's nice to meet you. Well, see, I, I've been doing nails at Trisha's Salon Curl Up and Die. I've been doing it there for years. They did tear down that strip mall, uh-huh. And they kind of kicked us out. And then after that, we, we discovered that we didn't have anywhere to go. So we're trying to find a place. In the meantime, Trish and I are just kind of working on jobs. That's how I ended up here. You saw me on the news. Yeah, I kind of went to jail for a little bit over that. Oh, it was worth it, I think. I have, I have that cow now. She's at my house. I do, yeah. My husband Jimmy and a friend of mine took care of it for me. They they did. They um, talked to the owner, and I got to keep my cow. Jimmy bought the cow for me. Of course, these days, um, and she had a baby. We named her. We named her Boo Boo because she leaves Boo Boos all over the yard. <laughs> kind of hard to pay for cow feed these days, though. Just working all jobs, but I have every confidence that we are going to come through this just fine. Oh, that's my Mimo. Who bought her a snow cone? Oh God. No, that's my that's my Mimo over there. My 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 grandmother. She's not supposed to be out on her own. But there she is. Now Bobby's here. He's here. He's supposed to be keeping an eye on her. He might be the one who bought her the snow cone. It's never a good idea to give her that. All right. So now we're going to pick out a bow and a label for that. Now these are vintage. These are genuine vintage uh, antique bows. They came out of my neighbor's house. She died, and these were in her basement. They're probably about 30 years old, but they're probably fine. 
So you could you could have the pleasure of knowing that you had a genuine antique bow. They even have silver ones in here. I mean, they're a little squished, but I think they're okay. Oh, I bet the white with the silver. You like that one? Okay. I put that on there. Let's see if the adhesive works. Let's try this here. Well, it's not coming up, so that's a good sign. And then we'll pick a gift tag. I have these full tags. They are self-adhesive. Now, I'm kind of thinking the little partridge here. You like that one? And there's also a little sticker in the middle that we could put on there as well. So I'm gonna stick that on there. And you will fill this out. We are not allowed to. Put the little sticker on there too. So now just remember that this package here, I see you got some more. This is your, um, these are your O'Keefe's lotions. Okay, I'm gonna set this back on the conveyor. Do you want me to get that, what is that, a shirt? I'm gonna get that next. Oh, can I, do you wanna leave it in this bag? Let's take it out. I agree, I think we should take it out. Who's this for? This is, can I open it up and look at it? Oh, world of tanks. Smells like a museum. Look at that. That's cool. Oh yeah. He's gonna love that. Now I'm gonna fold it back up. I'm gonna make it look nice and pretty. I'm gonna make sure it's folded just like it was. Well, you've got two nice presents here. folded back the way it was okay now I have a box over here that I think would be just perfect for this here's the, the lid you see it has this nice plaid on it now we can leave it just like this if you want to or we can wrap it in wrapping paper we'll leave it like this okay do you want to use tissue paper no well you're an easy <laughs> You're an easy customer. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on here. There. Slides around in there a little bit. Is that okay? All right, let me put some tape on the box for you. That way it won't it won't come open accidentally or because somebody was trying to open it early. Okay. So you don't want any wrapping paper for that. All right. gold bow for that. Okay. Well, I tell you what, I get a good vibe from you, and honestly, this has not been the best day. <laughs> it's not been the best couple of months, but talking to you has made me feel better. And, and I, I'm so glad that you came by. And again, we have the tags. Let me see here. It's got red and green in it like the package and it says happy holidays. All right. Put that on there. Don't drop it first. There. Now, just remember this one is the shirt. Okay? I see you got one more little thing here. A little envelope. Oh, it's a World of Tanks keychain. That's nice. I guess this person really likes World of Tanks, huh? Nope. I have I have the perfect thing for that. I have this little shiny box. And this I think we could wrap, just, you know, put it 
just you know leave it in here like this don't put any tape on the box but um, put it in here and there's already a little bit of cotton in the bottom of it or something in there now do you want to leave it in this thing here or do you want to take it out well I would say take it out but if you leave it in here and then place it in the box well it still kind of slides around but I think it makes a little harder makes it a little harder to tell what it is personally I think I would leave it like this you want to do that okay now let's see do you have a preference for the paper um, how about a Christmas story that's a long roll but we think I'm gonna do a Christmas story okay I won't have to cut much let's see here let me just measure this oh, about right there all we do that's long enough So you can see it has Ralphie on it and bar soap in their house and BB gun in their car and the leg lamp and the bunny outfit and his busted glasses. I love that movie. I watch it every year at least once during Christmas time. So you've got some good presents today. You picked some good stuff. You know I got a vacuum cleaner for Christmas last year. I know, that's what I said. Who would do that? No, I most certainly did not ask for a vacuum cleaner. My husband told his mama that's what I wanted for Christmas. I said, sounds to me like you want divorce papers next Christmas. I was kidding, but still... The sentiment was there. Maybe I'll walk up this year and get a mop. Oh no, there's no charge for this. No, no. Tips are certainly welcome, but there we have it. Wrapped nice and neat. I bet that's got Ralphie on the front. Now let's see. Since it's a little box, how about we go with a little bow? Now I'm thinking either one of these white ones here or a silver one. We do a white one, okay? All right, that. pretty cute huh see at first mr. Thompson I said mr. Thompson I don't have any bows and he said well that's what the ribbons for and he brought me this he said we don't need to buy bows there's no sense in buying bows you can make bows right and this is raffia I don't even know what it's made of it's probably made out of like radioactive moss or something I said mr. Thompson I don't know how to make a bow with this and he said, well, I thought women were good at that kind of thing. I said, no, not really. I said, can you dig a well? He said, no. I said, well, I thought men were good at that. And he said, well, if that won't work, maybe if I just give you a different color. So then he comes back with this. I said, it's green and green, and it's the same stuff. I don't know, I don't know how to make a bow with this. I'm not Martha Stewart. So... He went out to the Dollar Tree and picked up a bag, and then and then those got gone because it only had like four bows in it. So I remembered I had some at home that came from my neighbor's house, and uh, 
These are some that I have from my own stash. No, I don't mind using them. No, I don't mind at all. Um, but he said it just was not in the budget to supply those for the free gift wrapping beyond the ones from the Dollar Tree. And he said once those were gone, I had to make my own arrangements. That's just precious. Let me get a label. These labels are mine too. Um, no, it's fine. I bought these on clearance last year. I think this one right on top is nice. And not just because it's on top, but it says deck the halls and it has little ornaments on it. Okay. Put that on there. There. So there it is. Is that, is that all that you have? Okay, well, I'm going to put it on the conveyor and it's going to go down the holly jolly trail into the little box right there full of cotton balls. But watch Santa. All right, here we go. Yeah, he laughs like that. I, I, I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't give you nightmares. One little girl started crying. All right. Mimo, Mimo, hey. Where'd you come from? Well, you just pop in and out like a genie. How do you do that? It's me. No, Lynette. 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 Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry. Look up. Have you? Is Bobby here? Cause I don't see him. I'm gonna have to have a word with Bobby. <laughs> yes, I can wrap presents. I certainly can. Do you have something for me to wrap? No, no, don't. Well, normally I, I have been having people put stuff over there. Let me just take it from you. Who, uh, who's this for? It's for Lynette. You know that I'm, never mind. I think she'll love it. Now, I don't know how to wrap this, honestly. Um... Yeah, I, well, my concern is it'll tear through the wrapping paper. It is certainly an excellent selection for her. I know, I know Lynette, and I know that she likes this. Um, where did you find it, though? I don't know of any store in the mall that sells this. You bought it at Harris Teeter and walked over here with it. Well, that is some devotion right there, and Lynette will love to know that you went to that much trouble. How about this right here? How about we just stick it in a special Christmas bag? It says, tis the season. Oh, I'm, you can read, I know. I'm not saying you can't read. I'm just helping because you don't have your glasses on. And it seems that you might be having trouble seeing other things that are right in front of you. Tis the season to be tacky. Because we all know how Lynette is. She's a little on the tacky side. Well, she didn't need to know you felt that way about her. Stick it in this bag right here. Now what you do is you take this home, all right? And you give Lynette a great big hug, okay? Because she loves you very much. And she wants to make sure you're okay. Anything you want to do for her, she would sure love. Now here you go. No, not your purse. There you go. Yeah, there's there's Bobby now. He'll carry that for you. Let him carry that. Lord, you've been carrying it from here, Teeter. Bobby, what are you doing? Why have you got oil on your neck? Where have you been? Yeah, that that's Bobby. Yes, okay. You're going to the movies. Sounds like that's news to Bobby. Sounds like you're taking her to the movies. What are you going to go see? Casablanca. Mm. I don't believe that's playing anywhere. Honey, that movie theater shut down 50 years ago. Please take her home. Well, you're welcome. And, and take that bag. Give it to him. He's big and strong. It can carry it. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll see you later. 
I'm not a stranger, but okay, bye. Yeah, come over here. I'll take I'll take it. Yes, sir. Come here. Oh no, I'll be glad to. No waiting. Look, I got no line. What you got? Set it on the conveyor. Let's bring it and see what you got. Ooh. What is that? The grocery gang? Uh that looks kind of gross. Of course, I guess that makes sense. Launch them off the cruddy crossbow. You get two surprise groceries in the army crate. I've never seen anything so nasty in my life. Look at their faces. That's how I look in the mornings. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> I don't know. Kids are into some weird stuff these days. All right, let me see what I got for paper here. How about this pretty paper? Yeah. Yes, I did used to do nails at Trisha's. How do I know you? You do look familiar. You you used to be the mailman up there. You used to deliver the mail. Well, it's good to see you. Yes, I'm doing fine. Well, you know, it's the holidays. I'm just trying to survive just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. Let me cut this paper here. Oh, Trisha's... Trisha's good. I haven't seen her in about a week. She's been out of town. Well, to supplement her income, she's been doing some extra work at the beauty college. She's been um, teaching some classes up there. And they had her go do a seminar up in Mount Trace and she stayed up there for several days. She made me nervous. She kept talking about how much she liked it up there. And I said, you better not like it enough to stay. I need you to come back. I can't face this mess alone. Well, Trish and I have been working together for so long. It's like, I can't imagine. I can't imagine not working with her, you know? Well, right now, I'm not really working anywhere except here. And I've sold some samples at Costco. And that didn't work out too good. They kept making me sell this fiber. And everybody looked at me like I was a villain and I got tired of it. It was affecting my self-esteem. I said, I can't sell this fiber anymore. I want to do brownie bites and I tried to get on brownie bites, but they weren't having it. They said, nope, you're going to do fiber or you're going to do nothing. Well, I did the fiber as long as I could stand it, and then I had to go. So, I've applied for several jobs. I haven't heard anything back. And so, they needed gift wrappers here at the mall. So, here I am. Personally, I believe that every struggle has a purpose. I do. I think that whatever you go through in life, you can learn something from it. No matter what it is, there is always a lesson to be learned. If nothing else, you learn what not to do next time. Of course, losing my job at the beauty salon wasn't really within my control, I couldn't exactly, there was nothing I could do to prevent it. So, I don't really know what my lesson to learn here is yet, but I think eventually it will become clear. Right now I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> yes, she was in the Miss Mary Christmas pageant. Is that your daughter? I am sorry, I had no idea. Well, she looks so cute in her little dress. Oh my gosh. I know they all did. They all look they all look good. It's hard to pick a winner, I know. I know it's hard. This paper is not cooperating with me at 
at all. There. Well, it's not perfect. <laughs> but there it is. Your grocery gang. G-R-O-S-S-E-R-Y. Now, don't you know that was somebody's million dollar idea? See, that's all you gotta do. You gotta come up with a good idea. How about a green bow? Okay. Yet, you just gotta come up with that million dollar idea. And there you have it. I haven't come up with it yet, but I keep trying. You know, I did have this one idea many years ago. I never tried to pursue it or anything, but it's called, I would call it a purr pillow. Now, hear me out. Let's see here. It's a purr pillow. It's like a regular pillow, but inside of it, you know that, you know, like you ever lay your head on a purring cat? I know it sounds stupid, but I know everybody's done it. When they're purring, you kind of lay your head on them where your ears, like you can hear them and kind of feel them, hear them and feel them purring at the same time. I wanted to try to make a pillow that would kind of replicate that sound and that feeling of them purring. How about the reindeer? Maybe that one. My, pur my million dollar idea is the purr pillow. But then come find out somebody had already made it. You can get, you can get, I don't know what they're called, but I know they're out there already. I just didn't get started on it soon enough, that's all. Alright, so there's your grocery gang. That looks pretty good. Oh, you got another thing, hold on. Oh, it's already in a nice box, ooh. It's for your mother, can I see? I love looking at what people buy. Oh. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it's like a rose gold colored shiny bracelet. Oh, that looked good on me. <laughs> that's gorgeous. I love it. Oh, in the back too. That is so pretty. Where did you get it? At Claire's, really? That's all right. Well, we need some shiny paper for that. I have this remnant, but you see it's it's near the end. Let's see here if I can. Oh, I'm sure I have enough. I can cut it. That's too big, isn't it? Let me see. So yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna make a purr pillow and make my million dollars. I still say it's a good idea. Especially people who couldn't have cats for whatever reason, either they're allergic or don't have the time or space for a cat. It would be perfect for somebody like that. It's still too long, isn't it? Oh, you just never know what the next million dollar idea is going to be. Keep your eyes open and your mind open to the ideas as they come. So do you still deliver mail over there? Oh, you're on a rural route. Okay. That's nice. Now you kind of walked. Like you didn't really have a, a little vehicle thing. You just walked the area around the, the shopping center. Yeah, I remember... Every now and then you go in that restaurant next door because I remember seeing you in there. How's that? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? 
nice little package there and you need a little blue bow for that like this one right here how's that so put that on there so yeah we're doing all right it's good to see you i haven't seen you in, in ages that was some lady delivering our mail the last last little while She's nice enough, but she never talks, and she always gets my name wrong. She always just calls me Lynn. Even though my name is right there on my mail, she just calls me Lynn, and it just irritates me. It irritates me when I see somebody every day, and they say my name every day, and they get it wrong. And she's delivering my mail, and it's right there on it. It's like she's doing it on purpose. And she does those home perms, and her hair always has this purple tinge to it. Not on purpose or anything. It's just, it just does. How's that? I think your mother's going to love that. I think that's perfect. Now I'm going to put it on the Holly Jolly conveyor belt. Watch that Santa. He laughs like a serial killer. You know what my grandma used to tell me? I haven't pushed the button yet. My grandma went went overboard with Santa. You know, some some people would just say, you know, you better watch out. Santa's watching you. You know, you better be better be good. Cause if you're naughty, you get cold and you're just talking. No, no. My grandma told me that Santa would kill me. She said Santa would come in the house with presents, and instead of leaving presents, he would kill me. She had a twisted mind. I don't even know how I feel about it. So it made me pretty terrified as a child. I'm doing all right now. You know, some good therapy. I straighten that out. But she, she, I grew up thinking Santa killed people that were bad. That screws a kid up, you know. So most kids, when they find out there is no Santa, get upset. I was relieved. I said, well, thank the Lord for that. My teacher looked at me like I was nuts. So anyway, there are your presents. I'm going to push the button on the Holly Jolly conveyor belt that go into the box. Watch the serial killer Santa. All right, you are so welcome. Oh, Mama. Mama, where'd you come from? What are you doing here? Oh, okay. okay. No, put, hey, put it over there. Oh, I want one of these. Who's this for? I know you're in a hurry. I know this is cute as a button. Where'd you get it? Oh my gosh, Dylan's candy bar. That is, these are the cutest little things I have ever seen. They got little gummy bears in there and gumballs and a little, little scoops. That is so precious. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That is the preciousest thing I've ever seen. They're for Amber Lynn's teacher. Well, she, well, yeah. I didn't realize y'all had become friends. You dropped her off at one day. Okay, let me wrap it. Hold on. <laughs> Calm down. How about this? You don't care, do you? Okay. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. The, the Christmas party's today? I thought the flyer said it was next week. Oh, my God. I didn't send in anything. Why didn't you call me? Now her teacher's going to think I'm a horrible person. I was supposed to bring in potato chips, but I thought it was next week. Well, tell her I'm sorry. Do you need some money? It's kind of a weird present to give her. Well, maybe she can give it to the students or something. I don't know. Let me trim that a little bit. Oh, no. Bobby was here. Bobby was here with me, Mom. Is Daddy here? Because that, that reminds me. Um, I don't even know how to wrap this. My car's been making a really weird noise. It started, it started about a week ago, and it was only when I turned the wheel, the steering wheel to the right, it made this whiny noise. And my kids are always in the back seat whining, so at first I didn't even notice. 
Then I realized it was the car that was whining. And, uh, but then it started making that whining noise all the time. And you know how Jimmy is. He'll help everybody but me. Like, he'll help everybody in town with whatever. And he always waits until the last minute. To, he puts off helping me. And I wanted Daddy to look at it. I told Jimmy I was going to take it to the service station. He got mad. And I said, well... He said, no, they'll rip you off. I said, probably so. But i got to get somebody to figure out what's wrong with it. I don't know. I don't know what's making that noise. It doesn't sound like that. No. That's what I thought at first, too. But... I think it's something else. Anyway, I thought I'd get Daddy to drive it around the parking lot and listen to it, but if he's not here, I guess he ain't going to. Is he going to be home tomorrow? If he's going to be home tomorrow, I might bring it by then. I'm hurrying, Mama. Calm down. Get your blood pressure up. But please tell her I said, hey, and I'm so sorry. Um... What time does it start? No, I have to work till five. I can't I can't get out there. Every Christmas I forget something. I guess this year it's gonna be their party. And this is a weird shaped item, but how's that? I mean it's not my best handiwork, but you were in a hurry, so do you want a bow or anything on it? this. You want a tag? No tag. Okay. No time. Yes, ma'am. How's my Christmas going so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. Here you go. Don't even worry with the conveyor belt. Just take it. It's good. It's going to get better, I think. Well, you tell them I said hey and tell Daddy I'll come see him tomorrow. I want him to drive my car up and down the road a little bit, see if it can, we can get it and make that noise. Okay? All right. Well, I'm glad you stopped by, and I will see you tomorrow.